Welcome to Lewis Frank Motor Cars. Today we're going to be looking at a 1987 Jaguar XJ6. This Jaguar XJ6 is finished off in Nimbus white with a biscuit leather interior. With just over 83,000 original miles, this absolutely gorgeous XJ6 is in incredible condition. We do these videos here at Lewis Frank Motor Cars just to give buyers a little bit more insight into a vehicle that they may be purchasing, as well as to show off the overall quality and condition of the vehicles that we buy and sell. No exceptions here, absolutely stunning XJ6. This particular car, we have so much documentation, so much paperwork with, it's incredible. It is on its second owner. The original owner bought the car brand new in 1986 and drove the car for just about 30 years. There was a uh, collector owner that owned the car for probably the last year and a half that we purchased the vehicle from. And uh, I have to say, really in exquisite condition. These cars are super hard to find in this type of shape. All the service documentation is with the car. Again, as I said before, we have the original window sticker. We have the original purchase and sales agreement. Just extraordinary documentation and extraordinary condition. Again, XJ6s, the big straight six in the car. Very, very easy to service. Not a lot of moving parts as in the V12s. And you still get those incredible looks. This car just has a, as I zoom out here, just has a sleek design. It really, really is a classic Jaguar sleek design. All the curves and lines that you're looking for beautiful pinstripe down the side of the car. Everything is complete. There's nothing missing on the car. We have all the original floor mats here on the trunk. We actually even have the original cell phone from 1987 with the car as well. It, is, it has been disconnected, but the previous owner just kept every bit of documentation with the car. It does have two fuel tanks and there's a switch actually on the dashboard that switches between both 11 gallon tanks. They're saddlebag style tanks that sit in there which allows you to have a bigger trunk. Really, just really, really neat car. Again, 99% of these cars that you see are absolutely destroyed. This car is just in, in exquisite shape. Wheels are in fantastic condition. Four brand new tires. Again, we have all the service documentation with the car. It's fully operational. I mean, looking in the front here, you have that lower painted chin to the car. Just a classic look. Again, a very, very straight example. There's really no dings, dents of any kind. Really looking deep into the paint. Absolutely gorgeous. The chrome on the car is just as nice. Very, very reflective. The majority of the Jaguar factory tags are still on the car, which is just incredible. As you look at the interior, it is the biscuit. Uh, it's a light tan with light tan carpets almost like a lion's mane type color. Absolutely gorgeous, there's chrome accents throughout the whole interior of the car. Here's some retro style mirror adjustment knobs. Just so, so nice. One's manual and one is actually power. As you look at the interior, the condition of the wood is incredible. A lot of these cars like in these era vehicles, uh, from Jaguar have wood that's cracked up or beat up or plastic that's broken. I mean, if you look at the interior of this car, it's stunning. Even the big panel on the 
glove box really is completely intact. The veneer is phenomenal. As I said before, sound system works perfectly. The central computer here, again, works perfectly. Everything is where it should be. The chrome is all polished on the interior of the car. Another place where these cars can wear out, and you can see that this one is not, is the center console. Sometimes these center consoles can be uh, have elbow marks on them. But again, everything functioning in here and just in drop-dead gorgeous condition. Beautiful headlight switch. Again, everything working. There's no funky odors in the car. The leather still smells fantastic. No stains in the carpet. This is a 100% non-smoking vehicle. Again, very, very hard to find a 30-year-old car that nobody's ever smoked in. Analog gauges are absolutely gorgeous. Very classic. 83,000 original miles. Another thing with this car is it does have a moonroof. I mean, excuse me, a sunroof. And sunroof is completely operational. And probably one of the biggest things in these XJ6s is, is there's no sagging to the headliner whatsoever. That headliner is fully intact. No sag spots whatsoever. Not, not even on the sunroof panel itself. And the driver's seats are really in phenomenal shape. Phenomenal shape, the front seats here. Really in very, very nice shape. Very clean. Again, they, they do show a little bit of the, of the uh, stress cracks here, but I, I mean, you're looking at a car that's 30 years old. Just amazing to see it in this kind of shape. Opening the back seat here. Again, more of the same, just supple leather. Super, super, super clean. The carpets back here look to have never been used without the mats. Just very, very clean. As I said before, the headliner, nice and tight. But when you look at the car, just from the outside of the vehicle, it just looks to be in such phenomenal condition. Just really, it's, it's a car that, I mean, you could bring to a classic car show and people would just, their jaws would drop at the condition of the car. So clean. Again, even the wood here in the back. No cracks in the veneer. The chrome is clean as a whistle. Just absolutely gorgeous. All the power windows work in the car. Again, all the little stuff has been sorted out. And we have the receipts to prove it, but uh, it's just uh, amazing the condition of this car. In the trunk, as I said, you will find the original floor mats, and in this plastic bag is the original uh, cell phone. Also, you have a full, sp full size spare with a full size wheel, and also the complete original toolkit is here as well. And here's some of those VIN tags that I was telling you about. Just a few to see right here on the back, on the doors as well, on the hood. They're all intact. Another thing with this car, power antenna works perfectly. N nothing's hung up or um, there's no issues with the radio whatsoever. Absolutely clean and crisp sound. And again, the power antenna is completely operational. Again, just one of those cars where you look at it and, and it's just a, a no-brainer. There is a couple blisters in the paint. Again, as you'd expect for a car that's 30 years old. There's one small blister down here right in front of that rocker panel there. There is one small blister here on the windshield. I mean, again, I'm really nitpicking. That, it's very, very small. And then on the passenger side of the car, in that same rocker panel location, there is another bubble to the paint. Down low. But I just wanted to point out all the, really, the imperfections in the car. Um, other than that, really, really a straight vehicle. And again, those are really, really small instances of imperfection. And I actually put some, put some miles in the car myself. This is not a car that I'm just uh, selling to sell. I, we, we really don't do that. I like to drive everything that we sell. But uh, this is a car that I've actually driven and put about 100 miles on this car. And I have to say, I was so impressed at how this car drove, how the car felt on the road. We'll actually start it up for you. There's a small dent 
here in the chrome as well. Again, really everything is superficial with the car that you see that's, that's an imperfection. Other than that, it really is as close to immaculate as you're going to find. We're going to start the car up. All the lights work correctly. All gauges work correctly. as I said before. If you watch the fuel gauge, and I'll hit this this button that looks like a fuel tank release. It's actually a fuel tank switch that switches from the right side tank to the left side tank. So if I press that button, you'll notice the gas gauge moves a little bit. They're, about, they're at about the same uh, level. But if I let go there, you see the gauge drop slowly. Um, everything is operational with the two tanks. Really works phenomenal. Our computer system here, the central computer. LED display might not come through the camera clear, but it's actually perfect. It looks brand new. It switches through all its functions correctly. Um, we'll put it back on time. But again, phenomenal condition. Everything in the interior of the car, you may not be able to see it with the camera, but everything lights up correctly. Transmission, perfect. Again, very easy, very easy to operate. A phenomenal car, a classic car that really is in everybody's price range, I think. And uh, I think this is a car, these type Jaguars, really with their classic looks, are going to be worth uh, quite a bit of money in years to come. go outside the car and just take a peek one more time. I'll actually pop the hood for you. A little release under here. See that straight six, the four liter straight six. Again, all serviced up, ready to go. Everything's been done with the car, brand new battery. Runs super, super smooth. As I said before, I put some miles in the car, and I have to say, I was blown away at just how the car drove. If you look at the hood here, we have all the original factory tags as well. Very, very nice. Close this, very simple. Just a center close. You're good to go. Again, we're Lewis Frank Motor Cars. We're in Danvers, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. If you're looking at this car or any other vehicles in inventory, please take a peek at our website, lewisfrankmotorcars.com. Again, we really appreciate you taking the time to look at this absolutely stunning XJ6. And I think the next owner of this car is going to be a very, very lucky person because the condition the documentation that you can see in some of the pictures in our ad, it's just on another level. And uh, we really, again, as I said before, we really appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble about some of these, these used cars. Thanks so much, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon.